Today I will be providing an update on our integration of the division of divisions of fire and EMS and announce some personnel changes in the uh, Department of Public Safety. But first, uh, let, us, uh, let me remind you that as the City of Cleveland, our responsibility is to provide the best public safety service so that we can have the best and most positive uh, outcome on the lives of the people who live in our neighborhoods and everyone who comes to visit and work in the City of Cleveland. Our bottom line is service, not profit. So as we make these decisions, we make it based on that, that uh, our obligation and our duty is to provide service to all those who either live, work, play, or do business in the City of Cleveland. On April of, in April of 2010, I announced that I had accepted the recommendation from Chief Stubbs of Fire and Commissioner Eckert of EMS to consolidate or to integrate the divisions of EMS and fire into one operational unit. The goal is to improve and to better coordinate services uh, that we deliver to our communities and, by, and capitalize on the strength of both fire and EMS personnel. Now, we've been working on this integration uh, since then, and we made uh, some uh, significant progress. And our goal is to have it completed and have full integration by the end of next year, 2012. Uh, right now, however, we need to take uh, one step at a time. So today I will be appointing Commissioner Eckert to Assistant Director of Public Safety. His primary responsibility is to lead the integration of the Division of Fire and EMS into one organization that will result in better fire, uh, rescue, emergency, and medical services to the communities of Cleveland. As commissioner, his uh, consistency, uh, he has consistently demonstrated an ability to improve service delivery in the community through a management style that embraces the philosophy, philosophy of accountability, quality assurance, and performance improvement and has an open and direct communication style with all of uh, his labor leaders, uh, the unions that he has to negotiate with. Nicole Carlton uh, will become acting commissioner of EMS during the integration process. Ms. Carlton has demonstrated a strong leadership ability, a focus on quality assurance and improvement EMS service uh, delivery during her tenure as deputy commissioner. And finally, uh, I'm announcing that uh, Fire Chief Stubbs has informed me that he is going to retire uh, and that uh, Chief Stubbs has over 34 years of service uh, it, with the city of Cleveland and he has always put the people in this, and, uh, and their well-being and their safety ahead of all the things that he has done and all the decisions that he has made. And while uh, he's not leaving until April of next year, I want to take this opportunity to uh, thank him for his service and, and also tell you how much I appreciate uh, his openness and candor uh, in his representation of the fire division uh, and his willingness to move ahead with this integration. So I want to tell you how much I appreciate those of you. <laughs> Now these uh, changes are important as we move forward uh, with integration and here are some of the details of the integration. The newly created division will be led by a chief of fire, uh, rescue uh, and emergency medical service, a position that will replace the current uh, uh, fire chief position. The new chief will, be, will have the responsibility of not only managing traditional fire service, but also EMS personnel and functions. The new chief must possess strong management and leadership skills, fire, rescue, and EMS experience, and be capable of successfully creating a culture that embraces the positive attributes of both fire and EMS personnel and their, their organization. Traditionally, the appointment of the chief of fire has come from the ranks of assistant uh, chief. We will broaden the field of applicants beyond the rank of assistant chief to include battalion chiefs. Uh, this will require uh, changes in the civil service classification and minimum requirements 
Assistant Chief, um, Assistant Director Eckert will uh, assure that these changes are made as well as ensuring that all classifications in the new divisions are updated as necessary. Assistant Director uh, Eckert will also be responsible for working with our attorneys on uh, all the labor negotiation necessary to make this happen, increase race and gender diversity throughout the new division that will be created, establish a comprehensive management training program that stresses leadership and accountability, and increase accountability through a standardization of quality assurance and performance improvement uh, uh, programs, those two programs. Uh, one of the first uh, tasks that will be to centralize fire and e EMS payroll and timekeeping uh, by first focusing on these functions. Uh, uh, Mr. Eckert will be doing two things. He will address uh, some deficiencies and concerns that we have identified in a preliminary result of an audit being conducted by the city's internal audit staff, and this uh, plenary audit will uh, be completed soon, and it will create a solid foundation to move forward with a successful integration. Now these are uh, the nuts and bolts of what we will be doing, of course, is a broad overview and is much more complicated and uh, much more work than, it, than what I'm announcing, but uh, Assistant Director Eckert will ensure the success of this integration. Again, we are taking these steps to ensure that, uh, that we have the ability to provide the best fire and medical service to the people of the city of Cleveland. And I believe that the appointment of uh, Commissioner Eckert to Assistant Director of Public Safety will help to do that along with some of the things that I've mentioned so far.